Okay, today, today's going to be a little bit on um, capacitors, and this is an FT902D that we bought, uh, usual advert, you know, no microphone, no power cord, quickest 500 bucks you'll ever spend on something that doesn't work, of course. Yes, I should know better, but um, I thought um, we'll have a bit of a gamble. Gamble paid off wrong. Uh, but at least I can show you a few things about um, uh, what to be cautious of, and, um, uh, and just... Uh, this is probably more going to be on uh, <laughs> when smoke comes out of a radio, where is it coming from. Uh, we're only just going to cover the cap side of this for the moment and uh, have a bit of a look at just exactly uh, what happens with some of these cap tolerances. Then we'll come back to this 902 at some later stage, I'm sure. And uh, But let me tell you, uh, <laughs> worst 500 bucks I've ever spent. But, you know, um, uh, I, I bought another thing from the same gentleman, uh, for thousand dollars, it doesn't go, which could be the best thousand dollars I've ever spent. But you know, we're not even close to getting that fixed yet either. But um, you know, it, it's the name of the game. You've got to take a risk every now and again. And uh, if you're not taking any risk, you're, you're probably not getting anywhere either. So uh, anyway, all right. So what I'm going to do is I want to transfer back over to my um, radio room where I'm actually set up uh, at the moment. Um, um, you'll see we've got the rectifier boards out of here uh, because uh, they were just up in smoke and um, and when I received the radio it was pretty obvious that uh, it had been up in smoke before <laughs> the smell on the I, thought, I knew we were in trouble actually I had a mate of mine here with me uh, who's one of our club members and he said this is all bad and and he's right uh, it had all different screws in it it had oh boy this has been someone's nightmare so um, should I have paid $500 for it not on your life uh, hence we'll be Having a bit closer look at uh, things with no power cords and no microphones uh, from here. Uh, very hard to do, you know, when something comes up on the net, of course. Um, and um, uh, sometimes you've just got to go, well, roll the dice. Okay, so anyway, let's get on to the more practical part of this. I'll, I'll go back into my other uh, room um, and we'll just show you a couple of things. Okay, so this is really going to be just more about uh, pulling caps out and having a bit of a look at what you've got uh, with your caps. Because... Um, um, Really difficult to test them in circuit. Um, often you'll get situations where some of them are paralleled up, some of them, you know, are just seeing other components. Um, so with um, these rectifier boards, and and please don't worry about these two here. I'm <laughs> I'm doing a little proof of concept. Uh, we would never use these to um, put in a full time installation, but I've I've got a few of these sitting around, uh, which are they're actually three fifty volt uh, twenty two or twenty mic um, caps, and I want to put four of those in there and. Um, uh, I'll just see if that board comes up and running okay, uh, and I'll show you why in a second. But um, uh, but yes, this is not a good idea. Um, the concept of um, <laughs> being fully protected is uh, a much better uh, concept. But if you're just doing a quick test where you just want to do a proof of concept, sure, as long as it's you that knows what you're doing, well, that's great. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a... Uh, hang on, let's have a look. Which one was that one? Let's have a look here. Probably I want to, instead of boring you with... Yeah, all right, so that one there, all right. So as you can see, all the glue and all the gunk and everything, uh, when you get it off, you, you get to see, uh, and I'm just using one of these little UK um, LCR 40s. Um, um, probably, look, just a just comment, um, probably not you know completely accurate as a capacitance uh, meter, but enough, enough to give you a bit of a, you know, an idea of what you're at, you know, whether you've got a real problem or not, which you'll, um, you'll see. So basically, um, with the little device, um, you're still polarity conscious, so um, um, now I'm doing this one-handed a bit here. I was, I was going to go get my little stand, and um, hang on, I'll, I'll just go off camera for a second while I get these on. That's better. Okay, so we've got um, our little cap hooked up there, and we're expecting to see, uh, I've got a duplicate one over here, so we're expecting to see um, 22 mic, and uh, it's actually at 250 volts. Uh, we've put in some 350s over here just to do a bit of a test. So we'll have a bit of a look and see what, what are we reading at, and this thing just does a bit of an analyze. Great little device. If you can get your hands on one, I reckon they're fantastic. And it's reading 136, you know, sort of microfarad. So it's totally, yeah, wrong. Um, and when you read something like that, you know it's breaking down. You know it's giving trouble. Um, and uh, whereas, uh, I'll show you another one where I, I put little notes on them. Um, and um, uh, some of them weren't so bad, actually. Um, uh, let's get that on there. Now I'm going to probably have the same problem. I'm going to have to go off camera. Oh, maybe not. 
Oh, look at that. All right, so basically, let's have a look at this one. And if my little notation on top looks like it's anything like it's right, this one wasn't so bad. 34.24 mic um, off a 22 mic capacitor. Now, um, I, w I would still replace this capacitor. I'd replace all these. Every one of these capacitors, I'd replace every one of them um, because, you know, it's, it's just getting on a bit. And they do a lot of work. Um, uh, I pulled out these um, 3300 mics here uh, and, um, you know, they're just um, 25 volt working voltage. And, and look, they, they tested absolutely fine right on the knocker. Um, and uh, and the truth is that you know so unless I had any other indicators, <clears throat> those are probably not such a big concern down in the low voltage area. But these high voltage caps, yeah, look definitely. Um, and as we started going through more and more, um, I haven't noted on top of these, but some of these had some um, values that were a little bit of a concern. Um, and we started to sort of think, oh, okay, this is not so good. Um, so it gets to the stage where you just think, no. Nah, um, blow it, just just uh, replace them all, and um, you know instead of having to guess whether your analyzer over here is correct or not. Uh, now these um, these went sort of wildly out. I don't think forty seven mics, forty seven mic. Um, I'm just chucking it on our little peak tool here. Sixty one. You know what? Um, depending on the accuracy of your capacitance meter, um, and of course there's you know a little bit in the leads and the whole lot. Um, you know, it's it's not insanely out, but um, once again, for the hell of it, um, these things are cheap. You know, they're not a lot of money. Um, it, it's um, if you're going to replace one, replace the four um, with the um, these rectifier boards. They they have uh, uh, this four as a combination. Um, then they have a combination on the other rectifier board of um, four of these 22 mic 250 volts. Um, and from memory, then they just had some little smaller ones. Um, yeah, some more 22 mics that uh, they had on there, that's right. Um, so, uh, although have I got that wrong? You know, I have got that wrong, sorry. Uh, no, 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 the other two were these, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, on the other, on this rectifier board here, they actually used some 350 volt, not 250 volts. Still 22 mic, but 350 volts um, on there. So, ideally, you know, um, clean all this gunk off. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, do you re-glue them back down? Uh, you know, uh, if if the radio is not going anywhere and it's not going to be transported, and you know, uh, generally no. Um, you know, if it's going to be transported, maybe you, you know. But um, yeah, a lot of this gunk that it just creates a problem later on, to be honest. But uh, but yeah. Anyway, so that's just sort of some things to look at now. When you're on a, a 901, um, those two rear cards, um, you know, pull them out, have a look. Don't do what we're doing here. Um, it's only that I um, I know that we can do a test just to prove something for now, um, and I'm just curious to do the the test. But um, uh, generally, you know, sort of um, uh, there are some you know some pretty wild volts coming off some of these leads, so you, you don't don't want to have them exposed. Uh, and the whole concept of that is to when you're putting your fingers into the 901 to you know, be very, very careful, of course. But um, anyway, so that just gives you a bit of an idea how caps can sort of go a little bit um, bad. <laughs> and um, as you can see, even that glue, um, as you get onto the top of these, even that glue can become a problem sometimes that it can move over between the two terminals. I've seen that before. Um, you'll find also that um, they'll bulge. Now, uh, we've got little notes on these, but see how the plastic has bulged and see how the... Yeah, and see that one's 130 microfarad. Now, it's more than a coincidence that it's reading, you know, incredibly wrong in its value. It's been incredibly hot, you know, we can tell that just by the, you know, look at that. Um, and uh, whereas one that's coming in at, um, you know, 42 microfarad, it's not looking so bad. So the, the physical physical condition of your, um, uh, although here's a good example, this one's coming in at 39 microfarad and that one's actually been, incredibly hot and shrinking and you know the the plastic shrinking and um so yeah but look at the physical condition of your caps and and just see what's you know what they've been doing um when it's in circuit just be careful where you put your fingers but um if you've got a heat sensor um which i don't to be honest i've got a little cheapie that's not good enough i need something um just talking to a mate of mine down tassie about this um getting something that can specifically target heat signatures you know um on independent components a bit better and um uh, because uh, our 
130 mic was hot as hot. It was so hot. So, you know, we know that's got a bit of an issue. And, uh, and, and just so you know, there's, there's nothing in circuit here on this board here that's causing it to, uh, to do anything other than um, the component itself. Um, everything else actually checked out really well. Um, you'll see on some of these boards, um, uh, where was it? Uh, sorry. No, it was over here, sorry. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the, I think it was a 560 or 470 ohm resistor. That obviously gets quite hot. It's measuring fine. Um, I've got these in stock, so we'll swap it out, you know, just because it's been getting so hot. Uh, but you know what, all these resistors measured fine, so you know, they're, they're probably quite okay. Um, we didn't check that one actually. Um, I, I won't take it out of circuit, and I guarantee you it won't read accurate um, uh, in circuit. Uh, what, what's it supposed to be? Uh, 10 microfarad at 250 volt. Um, and uh, so once again, you know, keep an eye on your, um, on your um, polarity uh, to, uh, to test. I'll just be curious to see what that one does in circuit there. Um, from memory, generally not a not a big problem capacitor, but um, let's see what it says. 16.79 uh, in circuit as a um, 10 mic. I would I would say when I pull that out of circuit, um, it'll read just a little bit lower. Uh, we're picking up a bit of rubbish in circuit there, but um, uh, but yeah, I, I would almost guarantee that's probably going to be okay. Uh, would I replace it if I had one sitting here? Yep, absolutely. We may put it on the list of things to order just um, so we can say that, you know, it's nice to have these known boards where you've totally rebuilt the boards and, you you know, you know what you've got sitting on them. Um, there's also a lot of little, um, not so much on these boards, but you'll find there's some uh, high voltage uh, disc ceramics uh, that you need to be careful of too that can give some trouble. Um, they um, they generally will look pretty tarnished and, and dark and, and terrible. And you'll sort of put your meter on them and go, ha <clears throat> once again, out of circuit. You need to uh, do them out of circuit. All right, well, this is um, just a little bit of a look at um, uh, grotty old capacitors um, that uh, can, you know, become uh, a bit of a project uh, to change out. When people are talking about recap radios, um, generally I'm not a big advocate for recapping everything for the sake of recapping, but high voltage stuff that's old, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, if it's above 250 volts, uh, uh, yeah, it's probably not such a bad idea if it's, you know, 50 years old to start saying, well, let's, you know, put a new one, a few new ones in. All right, 73s, and uh, sorry, it's just a bit of a short video on caps. Um, uh, we'll, we'll do a run-up on that 902 um, when we uh, get all rebuilt and um, find out what else is going on with it. Um, so far, just lots of smoke, so, uh, 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 you know, we'll, we'll try and get a bit of a uh, result that's a bit better than what we've got right now. 73s, all the best, VK3, Charlie Mike, Tangamalanga, Northeast Victoria.